For years, riding a train has meant backpacking across Europe or cramming in one on the way to work. But trains have done a lot more for us than just lowering our hygiene. Welcome aboard! I'm Mike Janella for 8012. While not as prevalent as they used to be, trains have played an integral part in modern American history. Trains as we know them were invented with the first steam locomotive in the UK in 1804. 23 years later, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad became America's first, with the US producing its own steam engines on the reg by 1831. Soon, trains were transporting soldiers in the Civil War and goods and passengers all across the US. For perspective, America went from less than 40 miles of track to more than 163,000 in just 60 years, including the Transcontinental Railroad running literally coast to coast. Coleman sleeper cars became the first class travel method by 1870. Train usage kept growing from city to city and state to state until a peak of 254,000 miles of railroad track covered the US by 1916. Then it all went off the rails. Cars, trucks, and planes would chip away at the volume of goods and passengers delivered by trains, to the point that after growing more than 638,000% in its first 86 years, railway mileage in the US fell almost in half over the next 90. It's not all bad news though, trains are making a comeback thanks to passenger use. Amtrak still had operating losses of $227 million last year, but it was their lowest loss in 40 years. National ridership is up more than 10 million since 2000. The next step is getting super high speed rails. They've been tough to build thanks to a variety of infrastructural limitations, but a bunch of other countries now swear by them. Just think of all the fun Red Sox Yankees games will be with 200 mile an hour trains between Boston and New York. Happy riding from 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and leave a comment. But remember, if it's about your fantasy team or your vacation pictures, nobody cares.